Hello, my name's John Oat. Today we're tasting the 2019 Domaine Mie Chablis Viervin. Now, Chablis is a Chardonnay from the northernmost point of Burgundy. Now, even though it's the northernmost point of Burgundy, it actually has more in common with Champagne than it does Burgundy. The southern tip of the Prisian Basin was full of tiny little oyster shells. And that reflects in the wine this incredible minerality. Now, Domaine Mie are a classic producer. What that means is they produce wine in 100% stainless steel. They let the wine sit on lees rather than lees stirring. So there's very minimal wine making artifact. There isn't any taste of new oak. There isn't a taste of lees stirring. They go through full, full malolactic fermentation, which is very normal for the area and Burgundy. And it allows the, the wine to fully develop in the glass and become even more mineral in the palate. And as such, it retains its freshness and acidity. And that is the most delicious part of Domaine Mia. On the nose, there's this beautiful tension. It's obviously ripe, it's obviously full. It's lemon, lime, citrus, but it also has orchard fruits of quite ripe pear and Granny Smith apple. Oyster shell and this beautiful salinity. And even though there's all these beautiful fruit flavors, there's also this taut nature. And that's what you look for in good quality Chablis. Chablis that can almost tense up your cheek muscles. On the palate, the wine is full, lit yet long, mineral, like tiny little razor blades just cutting across your tongue. And it makes you salivating for more. I tasted this wine at the start of last year. We ordered it. It's been shipped here in a reefer, which is a temperature controlled container. It's arrived in our temperature controlled warehouse and we're just releasing it now. 2019 Domaine Mie Chablis VA Vin for $45 in the French Wine Centre. Now, the best thing about Chablis is it's just a refresher and it's the perfect, perfect accompaniment to cooking. So that calls for a little bit of tempura. Three quarters of a cup of plain flour, a quarter of uh, corn flour. You've got to sift it, that's about as technical as we get. See you in two minutes. Right, oh, so now we've sifted uh, the flour, make a little bit of a well. Crack the egg that you've got in your top pocket. Give it a little whisk just with your chopsticks. And that's what makes this the, the perfect dish. There's no finesse. Everyone thinks that this is a dish full of finesse. Incorrect. So, in goes the whisked egg. 250 ml of soda water. Now, the reason that tempura goes so perfectly with Chablis is that tempura complements the flavor of the prawn just as Chablis does as well. Neither food nor wine is overpowering. And they leave everything perfectly fresh for either another glass or another meal. Now it's stirred around, but make sure it's still lumpy. Like we said, no finesse. Now we've got the uh, we've got the oil on the wok. Now don't put it in until it's smoking. You want it smoking. So the batter is super duper simple. The most important thing to take out of it is do it straight away and keep it very 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 cold. Don't mix it too much. Keep it a little bit lumpy. Have a little shipito of wine. Let's start, with, let's start with the prawny. So dip it in. Just with a chopstick. Just give it a little test. Oh, geez, it's hot. All right, now let's do a couple at a time. So there's four of us here. Just a good, just a good whack. Look at this. This is as good as it gets. Righto, so two or three minutes or until golden brown. I've always wanted to say that. Look at that. Look at that. It looks like just from the fish and chip shop, but it's not because it's simple and better. Right, right, let's have a little crack. It's just perfect. You can tempura anything. 